Hello everybody, welcome back. Uh, this demo actually was prepared for an article in the International Artist Magazine a while back. Um, the reference photos were taken at the Olympic National Park. And uh, from these photos, I actually did, as usual, I prepare a series of value studies uh, and then out of the few um, studies, I pick one that I am happy with. And so this is the one that I'm going to be using for the demo. And as you can see, the um, reference, uh, I mean, the, the value study, it's actually quite simple. It's just uh, indicating where the light tone, mid tone, and dark tone. And the center of interest I actually going to be the um, these four figures. And... Three are light against dark, and one is dark against light. So just to keep it very simple. And uh, let's um, start with the demo. So for the demo, I actually did a uh, quick line drawing. This one's a little bit more uh, detailed than the, some of the, the um, other ones that I've done. Because I just wanted to make sure that um, the line quality is dark enough to show up at the uh, for the print of the the magazine, so the the line was a little darker than usual. Um, so I actually start out by wetting the paper first. Uh, this will give me a, a little bit more time to get the 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 um, the dark blue sky, uh, and I want that gradual darker wash. And I start out with the uh, ultramarine and because the paper is wet it's uh, it's giving me a lot more time to um, uh, to get a more gradual uh, wash and as you can see the um, color gets gradually lighter as it comes towards the the horizon line and also modify that a little bit by adding um, a little bit of uh, I think some Chinese white and a little bit of yellow to kind of warm things up a little and then this is the bottom of the, the reflection of the sky. So it's also the other way around. It's getting uh, lighter, and then towards the bottom, it gets gradually darker. <clears throat> so at this point, the uh, first wash is uh, it's dry. And I actually wanted to keep the, um, um, the first wash dry because I, I want that really strong, uh, sharp edges. And I'm going to get a lot more soft edges uh, on this pass where I'm painting the um, some of the, uh, I guess, the leaves uh, or the trees on that little um, island. Um, so I start out with the yellow and, gr and green. So mostly this is the, the area that is lit by the sun. So I pushed the color to give it a lot more variations. You can see some of them are yellow, some of them are slightly uh, more intense green, and then the the color will be actually within that same yellow green range. <clears throat> and most of these colors, uh, this area will be lit by the sun and will have a, a side that is uh, the light side and the shadow side. So for now, I'm just uh, focused on the area that is lit by the sun. So you can see um, there are some variations within that uh, yellow green. And then towards the uh, right now, uh, that's the, um, I guess that's the, um, some of the, um, the area where the, I guess the rocks formation is. So it's a little bit warmer, but it's not definitely not as green. So now I'm beginning to uh, uh, paint some of the trees on the top of that, um, on the top where it's not, it's, it's part of it's still in the shadow and part of it is it's still in the light. So this is kind of that dark uh, mid-tone. And, and this is the part where um, I like to keep the um, the light, the, the edges are really soft. You can see the first few uh, strokes that I put down with the yellow and the uh, light green. So the, the darker green right now is actually 
beginning to um, mingle with the lighter tone. And so this is how I am able to get those soft edges. And within that, uh, this uh, I like to keep uh, by manipulating these uh, different passes. So it, it I will have some hard edges and some soft edges within that um, mid-tone values. <clears throat> And then you can see the left, the right side. It's actually in the shadows. I'm painting uh, the foliage or the trees that is in the shadow. So it's a little bit cooler, and the color is not as intense. <clears throat> so what I'm putting down now is the really blue that's actually in the shadow. I actually push that color a lot more. This is supposed to be the rocks. That it's a bit light. It's it's a little bit lighter than the the trees that you see on the top. And then uh, remember, this is actually the the um, the shadow side now. And at first, it it looks like it it's um, really dark, but um, it will get lighter once the um, the color dries. So I have to um, take that into consideration. And you can see the dark is actually beginning to spread into some of the the uh, wet area that I first put down the those those yellow green um, beginning to kind of uh, drying, uh, especially toward the edge. <clears throat> so you have it both really soft and kind of uh, um, more variations in the edges. So this is the part that um, it, with watercolor, it's, it, it's very um, kind of unpredictable. So um, I have to kind of take that into consideration. It, I don't, have um, anything specific. I just have to be careful right now to lead, uh, save the, the white to make sure that those figures are the um, right, um, uh, keeping those light and make sure that I save the, um, the white for those figures. So right now I'm still trying to get the, the shadow side. And since the the light side, uh, the colorful um, on the the trees on the on the upper half of the composition, it's in the light. You can see some of the shadows are uh, beginning to to just creep up to the 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 light side, and those are the things that um, you don't have a lot of control. I mean, you just had have, have to kind of uh, allow that to. Um, to happen I mean you um, and depending on how much water how much paint how much um, uh, how th like how um, how dry the the first layer is and now I'm, I'm putting in the shadow the reflection of the of that um, island <laughs> and this is the part where I know it's dark and I, I got to make sure the value is um, it's dark enough at the same time. I'm not trying to be too literal about the exact reflection of that. I just want to make sure that it's dark because the that's reflecting the um, of the, the the mountain or the the island. <clears throat> and uh, so now I'm using the uh, palette knife to take advantage of the semi-dry area. You could see the the shadow side, which um, it's still moist, but it's not 100% dry. So this is the time that you can um, go in there with a palette knife and really create a lot of interesting uh, textures. And I mean, I could actually do uh, lift those out when, when the paint's dry, but it will not have that kind of energy. I feel like uh, the edge will be a lot softer and scraping out uh, and also lifting or using white are uh, different options that I could use. But I figure if I, if, uh, if I could time it, if the, um, I could scrape those uh, out, it's much more interesting so I decided to do that. And also the, by doing that, it just give it those rock formation, a lot more interesting textures. And it, it doesn't, f um, so it, it, so in this case, it's the choice that I made. Uh, I decided to, to keep it 
um, a little bit more spontaneous. And then um, put it, painting in the, the, I guess that would be the sand, that would be the top of the, uh, uh, the water. You could see that once I put that there, you could see, um, you could identify that as the, the, um, the sand, and then you can see the, where the reflection is. And uh, putting in, the, indicating the, um, the distant water body in the back. And this is the part where I feel like um, it's important to not getting caught up in the details, especially those <clears throat> distant mountains in the back. I mean, if, if you just, uh, for me, it's just some shapes. Uh, even within those shapes, I, w I just want to make sure that the, um, the value is it's accurate. And the color can, I can push the color a little bit and, and you could get away with it, with this kind of thing. And, and I find that if you, um, if you have the right values, um, if the value is correct, chances are the color is going to be, uh, the color is not more forgiving. <clears throat> so now with all the, um, I think all the block ends are pretty much done and, and, and dry. So I'm going in there with a brush just to kind of bring out uh, the initial um, uh, blocking. I mean, these a lot of these strokes are very spontaneous. They're kind of, um, I like to keep that kind of um, color graphic look to those. So when I put down those um, strokes, I don't have a uh, specific tree in mind. I just um, follow the... I guess the feel once I mix the right color and I also have a value study to work with. So this is um, the value study usually give me a good idea of um, uh, where to put the darks and where to group the dark shapes and and so on and so forth. So uh, this is the, the process that's um, actually take the longest is to to uh, to maintain the uh, the energy of the initial blocking and not overwork your painting. So between the blocking and this finish stage, uh, the blocking I would say take about half an hour, forty five minutes, and then the finished painting you could see the the figures has a lot of details and instead of three figures I actually decided to add some more and they are. Uh, even though they it occupy a very small part of the the composition because it's the the center of interest and also I spend quite a bit of time defining the um, just the, um, the figures a lot more and you can see there I added some figures in the back as well and the especially toward the bottom of the the composition see the reflection. And you can, this is the part that I find it very fun and exciting is to be able to see the under, uh, again, painting water. And this is also one of my favorite subjects as well. Uh, just to, to see the, the transparency of the water. You can see it below the water on the water and, and the reflection. And so a lot of it, it's suggesting to, to my audience and not really like fully render. So... Okay, so um, this is about um, the end of the, the demo. And uh, so if you um, li find the contents on this channel interesting, please like and subscribe. And uh, please feel free to um, uh, leave me a note and ask any questions. I'll try my best to answer your question. Thank you very much, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.